So today we're going to cover yet another birth control topic. Uh, somewhat not your average birth control. In fact, today we're going to talk about Plan B, um, otherwise known as emergency contraception. Um, up until recently, if the condom broke, if you forgot to use a condom, don't ever do that. If, uh, for, you know, you got caught up in the frenzy, got drunk, forgot to use uh, protection, you would have to go to your doctor or to a health clinic and get a doctor to prescribe the Plan B. And for the longest time, it went through the FDA and the FDA's ethics committee um, and was really, it was hung up in the bureaucracy of everything. And then finally, they made it available over-the-counter, sort of. Uh, Plan B, you can get at, or you should be able to get at any pharmacy. Uh, you have to walk up to the actual pharmacy desk, and it should be behind the pharmacy counter. You ask them for it, and they check your ID, because you do have to be over 18 to obtain it. Um, at a pharmacy and uh, they will then give it to you and you buy it. Uh, there is one kind that has two different pills that you take one right away and one I think 24 hours later you'll have to read the instructions. There's another one that just came out that you just take one pill. Uh, so you know ask your pharmacist for the exact instructions on how to take the kind that they give to you, he or she uh, gives to you. Remember the key to this, the key to the effectiveness of emergency contraception or plan B is how quickly you take it after the act. Uh, it can work up to 72 hours out. So it's like three full days. But the longer you wait, the longer it goes out to that 72 hours, the less likely it's going to work. So if you take it right away, if like you take it within hours, or if you take it that next morning, um, you know you're you're pretty good to go. In fact, another thing it's called is the morning after pill. Uh, so remember to take it as soon as possible. Now, because you want to take it as soon as possible, here's the thing to keep in mind. Um, sometimes pharmacies will either be out of it. I think sometimes pharmacists say they don't have it in stock simply so they don't have to sell it to you because they have a moral issue with it. Um, some pharmacists are really against uh, giving it out. And the way they get around it isn't by actively necessarily protesting it because they might lose their job if it's a corporate, um, if they work for a corporation. Instead, they just say they don't have it. If, if that's the case, if your pharmacist says we don't have it, uh, let's say you're at Walmart and that pharmacist at the Walmart pharmacy says we're out. Say, please will you look up on your computer the closest ph Walmart pharmacy that does have it in stock. They should be able to do that. There's no reason they can't do that. Um, and, you know, if one pharmacy says they don't have it, go to another and you'll, you should be able to get it. But... You don't, like, you could go down today and get it and buy it today and keep it. It lasts two years uh, on average before um, it becomes expired. So go and have it on hand just in case something happens. I mean, you can use condoms perfectly and then you could still have one break on you. And then you have that um, plan B, those pills or that pill right there, you can take it right away. Uh, because it is a high dose of hormones, um, I have taken it before. Uh, when the one time I experienced a condom break with my then fiance, now husband, and um, it made me extremely sick to my stomach. I wasn't throwing up, but I was very um, nauseated. Uh, but I react to hormones pretty intensely. And, uh, so, you know, if when you first went on birth control, if you've been on birth control before and you became uh, sick to your stomach at first, if you react, you, you'll probably get a little nauseous and that's okay. 
um, nothing to worry about. Um, doesn't mean you're pregnant because all of a sudden you're, you're feeling sick to your stomach. It's actually kind of this burst of hormones. Um, but yeah, keep one on hand. Now the other thing is you don't have to necessarily go to a pharmacy. Uh, you can also go to a Planned Parenthood and they will give it out. And I'm pretty sure most cases they'll give it out for free. Um, or at least on a sliding scale. Uh, if you don't make an, you know, a lot of money, then they'll give it for free. And they can give it to minors. So you don't have to be 18. So if something happens um, and you're under 18, go to a Planned Parenthood and get it. Or, you know, if nothing else, get one of your friends who's over 18 to go get it from a pharmacy. But by all means, as soon as possible, as soon as possible, get that and take it to avoid a pregnancy. If you take it right away, I mean, it's in the 80% on the effectiveness, which is pretty amazing for just this quick, you know, dose. Now, there's two things I really, really want to stress to you guys. One is this is not an abortive pill. It's not the abortion pill. Okay, there is a pill that if you're months pregnant, you can go to a doctor and get and take, and it causes you to have an abortion. That is not what this is. Okay. That's like, um, it's secondly, um, the mechanisms in which uh, the plan B works is, is not an abortive kind of thing. It doesn't rip a fertilized egg from the lining of the uterus and flush it out of you, thus being abortive. That's not how it works. So plan B is not an abortion. It is not an abortive uh, uh, issue. Um, the other thing I really want to stress, because this is something I get a lot of comments about from you guys, is that uh, you cannot, you cannot use Plan B as your Plan A. In other words, you cannot use Plan B as your pure method of contraception. You can't say, oh, well, whenever we have sex, it's not going to be that often. I'll just pop that pill afterwards and I'll be fine. First of all, it's a large dose of hormones. And I just wouldn't recommend doing that on a regular basis because I personally wouldn't want a huge dump of hormones going to my body on a regular basis, like often. Um, you know, As it is, the, the hormones we use for hormonal contraception They've been able to get that lower and lower and lower doses as the decades have gone on. So why would you ever want to make a habit of dumping huge amounts of hormones into your body? Secondly, it's really not that effective if that's your sole means of contraception use. It's never in the 90 percentiles, and that's really what we aim for. You know, condoms and hormonal birth control that you regularly take, um, those are in the 90s. Those are the ones that we consider effective, reliable, that kind of thing. Never, ever, ever say, oh, I don't think I'm going to have sex, but if I do, if we do end up having sex, I'll just take that pill and I'll be fine. Don't do that. It's, you know, I think it has more side effects than, I mean, it's kind of unpleasant, Certainly not as unpleasant as a pregnancy would be. So again, I don't want that to discourage you from taking it. But, you know, do not use that as your primary form of birth control. Every health professional out there will tell you that same thing. Do not use it as your primary method of birth control. So, realize that it exists, that you can get it from a pharmacy, that you do not need a prescription for it. If a pharmacist says they're out, or they might just flat out tell you they don't give it to you, give it out, um, then ask where the closest one is that does have it in stock, or go to a different pharmacy and ask there. But a good idea, again, is to make sure you already have one on hand. So go out this week, this month, and, and get one. Guys, you can too. Go out, and you they'll sell it to you. You have it on hand in case something happens. Um, and you can then say, you know, you have it, and then you can give it to your partner. <laughs> the morning after pill, that is. <laughs> Not an STD, because that sounded kind of weird. Okay. 
So I'm rambling on, but yes, so those things, remember that it is not the abortion pill and it's not an abortive measure and it is not to be used as your primary form of birth control. If you have questions about Plan B, please leave them below and I will try and answer them. I have realized that with all the changes with YouTube, I'm really going to try not to point anymore because remember when we used to say like, oh, the description box over here, well now it's like the description box is down here and you have to click on it and it's not real clear that you have to click on it. So those of you who haven't noticed, by the way, the description box is now below and if you click, that's when it will like open up and show you the full description. So um, do that, check that out. I'll leave a couple links for you guys. I'll leave a link to Planned Parenthood so you can uh, put your zip code in and find the closest clinic. So you can go there. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, like I said, please leave those below. Uh, this is, um, I think we have one more in this series on birth control, then that's it for like this season. So we are almost wrapping up this season of, of birth control topics. And in fact, the next video you guys should see me in it's going to be pretty fun and scary, um, but I don't want to give it away, so you'll just have to wait and see what it is. But I get to work with um, kind of MTV, or I'm, I'm making a video kind of for them, so it's going to be fun. And thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Again, I've rattled way on, um, but I love you guys, and I love talking to you guys. So... Um, Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me. Send me messages. I know in some other videos in the past ones, I said like quit sending messages. I read my messages. Um, I'll respond if I think I can help you. If you don't get a response, that's simply because I didn't think I could help in the situation that you were in or that you were asking about. I love you all. I love to hear from you guys. Check out my Facebook, my Twitter, um, all that good stuff. Uh, get to know me. Let's get to know each other. Yeah. Love you guys. Uh, and if you haven't yet, of course, subscribe. Bye.